All right, welcome back to Scarecrow 420. We are still in week one, going into week two on flower, and Betty's looking really nice. Check her out. You see where she's she is still stretching up a little, getting the final stretch in. Not seeing any signs of a pre flower yet. But it'll probably be a couple weeks before the hairs start to form. But we are giving her a good feeding. From my understanding, no one has told me not to do it. We are going to start including the tiger bloom into our feeding schedule. So I'm going to go get everything situated. And then we will be right back to get her fed. Please remember, hit that like. Hit that subscribe, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we've got our gallon jug of water. We've got Our Fox Farm Grow Big. Still not 100% sure when I should stop with the Grow Big. If you happen to know, let me know in the comment section when should I stop using Grow Big. But keep it in the same measurements before I give it a nice good shake. Now I'll take we want five milliliters. Of grow big. Then we will add five milliliters of Big Bloom. Five milliliters of big bloom. And then for the first time, <clears throat> we'll just do five milliliters of the tiger bloom I'm doing five milliliters a general feeding is 10 to 15 milliliters per gallon but I really don't want to risk hurting her with extra so I've been sticking with this five milliliters per gallon and so far it seems to be working really well. There you go. Five milliliters of Tiger Bloom. And then just because we've been adding it to every feeding since we started we used 
1.5 milliliters of Emerald Harvest Cow Mag. This stuff stinks. Yeah, I just do one and a half milliliters of the cow mag. Alright, have my little syringe up. Move these nutrients out of my way. I'm not sure exactly. Where my cap went. Oh, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna give this a nice good shaky shake. Oh, ain't that pretty looking. And we begin feeding. I'm gonna try to expand my videos instead of just coming in like one day throughout the week and recording while I do everything. I'm gonna go throughout the week. Like I'm doing this feeding and all now. It's today is only today's Sunday. So it'll be this weekend when I upload this video. So throughout the week as I feed water I'm actually probably going to go in and we'll give her a haircut here in a few days. You know, try to try to increase my video input. Really need to get me a, a, a clip-on fan that I can put up in here. <clears throat> we'll say she is looking really good. This is a white widow. It's actually a strain that I really haven't had in a long time, so I'm really curious. I've never grown her. But I'm I'm expect I'm hoping she turns out really pretty. Definitely gonna make sure with the next grow. Definitely gonna make sure I have enough LST clips. And if I'm not able to get a bigger tent by the time I start my next one, I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna try to grow grow the next one a little smaller. And you know, I bet for a hundred days that. Betty here. I'll try to maybe only veg for like a month or two. I 
can hear her slurping up the water. Getting a little hungry, weren't you, girl? Getting a little hungry. I will say I'm really impressed with the fact that I had the nitrogen deficiency there at the beginning, but after getting that taken care of, we've had no other issues. But of course, now that I say something, I'll probably have nothing but issues throughout the flower. Keeping fingers crossed that don't happen. Just like always, I'll let her sit in the runoff for the next hour or so. Let her absorb all she can. Then I'll come back in and mop it up. Yeah, we'll come back in a couple days. We'll give her a haircut one day here soon. We'll give her a haircut. I'll probably do it in the I'll probably give her a haircut before my next water. Today's Sunday. I think I have water. Just regular water on Wednesday. So. Tuesday-ish maybe. I'll. We'll come back. We'll give her a haircut. Trim up some of these larger families. That way light can get down further. Through the canopy here. She is, she is doing beautiful. I, I am proud. Yeah, so like. So we'll come back in a couple days. Till then, please remember. Like, subscribe. And stay tuned for more. We'll be back. Alright, <clears throat> welcome back. It is now day seven of week one, so it's the final day of week one of flower. We're gonna give Betty a little haircut and give her a good water. You can see. She's doing pretty good. Figure I give her a haircut first, and then I'll water her after I'm done. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get everything set up and ready, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, here we are. Got Betty right here. See if I can adjust this camera a little more here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Betty in all her glory here. Got a little bucket right here for my trimmings. I'm real curious. Let me know down in the comment section. What do you do with your trimmings? I might freeze them and save them for now. Try to figure out a good use for them. Let me know. What do you do with your trimmings? No, I probably won't record the entire trim or defoilation here but 
I'm just gonna start low, work my way up. Pretty much anything that's really low, I'm gonna remove. Like, I'm not entirely sure if you can see this little branch right here. But I'm gonna see exactly like how much it clears up and <clears throat> how much it clears up when I remove the larger fan leaves. Because if it's not getting that much light, I might just remove it. But we will wait and see. Growing cannabis It's been really fulfilling I don't know if Anyone else out there that grows Feels the same way but To me it's very fulfilling I'm not getting a little branch I might end up Just fully removing Use that and make a clone. That'd be real good for a little clone. But I can flip the flower and we got the one small tent and we don't have nowhere to put another plant right at the moment. What's real funny is by the time I finish with this defoliation she'll be hitting week two it's almost 11 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right now as I'm recording this of course it's not going to be the same when I upload it and whatever time you you happen to be viewing it, but as I'm recording, it is almost 11.30 p.m. I had to put the baby to bed, wait for the... Spend some time with the wife, we watch the TV, and she fell asleep, so... I decided it was perfect time for me to come out, get that ear hair cut, and record more for this video I like how it's more like tighter right in this area I'm really excited for to start flowering. Yeah, I was trying to get into something. Ooh. 
I accidentally cut a little pistol. I hope that won't really affect nothing. Yeah, that's something new. Auto takes you on a defoliation if you accidentally cut a pistol off. Will that affect the plant? I hope not. That's a cute little leaf. Uh, I really want to know what do uh what do you do with your family if and when if you if and when you defoliate? Right. I know you can. It's easier to use them to make like butter and concentrates and stuff once they have the trichomes on them. But like right now. What do you, what, what, what can you use them for? This video was watching, I'm sure a lot of people probably are cringing watching me do this. Especially by the time I'm done. Cause, like, I do a heavy defoilation. Like every, <clears throat> both grows that I've done, I've always done a pretty heavy defoliation on them. But they've always pretty much just bounced right that without any issues. Looks like she might have some uh, little pistol starting to pop out. I really should have done this sooner, I feel. <laughs> uh, don't forget if you're in need of a... If you're in need of a grow light, and you have a... very small grow tent or grow space, go with... I, I recommend the Spider Farmer SF1000. The SF-1000D, it, it's a cheaper model, you can tell it does really good veg because that is currently all that I have. You can tell it does real good in veg and with my first grow when I finally included that light, I had, I had a pretty decent yield for my very first time growing. I had for 47 grams. You can click the little, there'll be a little flag in the window if you want to go check out that grow. That was my first grow, it was just a mystery seed. But so, with it being only under that light, I'm really curious to see how she turns out. <clears throat> I'm just in a 2x4 tent. It's like, I would recommend it. You can use a Coupon code ScareGrow420. Link and everything, it will be down below. So, check that out, save you a few dollars off of it. So, if you have a real small grow area, like a 2x4, the SF1000D does pretty good. She's been on, for, she was on bed, in bed for 100 days, 18 hours on, 6 hours off, and and on day 100, I flipped her to flower. She is now at 12-12. She has been doing wonderfully. 
it was we had that slight light hitch in the fish you see there in there in the beginning but once we started to get her some food feed in there Sticker in the sink and we'll watch this water there tonight. Yeah. Give you a better look at it. Like I said, I do a very heavy default. Nearly see down in her do so she'll at least will get better light penetration for her now. Maybe some of these little smaller ones will be able to get up. I think I need to angle my fan. Fortunately, I can't afford a clip on fan at the moment. So I'm gonna have to figure a way to angle my fan to get it to blow up a little more. Just that way it's actually strengthening up my stems here. You can see you can tell see how I did with the stalk. I think that's a that's a sturdy stalk there. You can see my bends from where I low stress train. So yeah. I'm going to go get the sink ready. We'll give her a good water. Put it back in the tent and let her go night night. Alright. Let's do Got it. her all up in the sink here. Oh, and she is now officially on week two of flower. It is after midnight. It is. Actually, it is almost 2 a.m. now. <laughs> Alright. We're just doing the regular water. No nutrients this time. She'll get nutrients going on Saturday. Not quite sure yet. It might be a part this video or it might be included in uh this week's i'll probably include in this one I think about changing my upload days to uh either monday or tuesday I do Monday, Tuesday, and pretty much I can record for a whole week. And then take over the weekend, do my editing and all. And then after I edit, I can either upload it or have it go live Monday or Tuesday. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I really like how she's like, she she's literally become a little tree. Oops. Oopsies. Missed the pot. Could have just been leaking from the side. Bring it back this way. kind of curious if I'll have to increase the amount that I water her as uh, we go through go through the flower stage <clears throat> yeah remember let me know in the comment section what do you do with your uh, families when you defoliate I'm interested to know what everyone does with it try to find a good use myself for them Please, let me know in the comment section what you do. Remember, check out spiderfarmer.com. Get you a grow tent or a grow light. If you have doing just a very small grow and like a 2x4 tent, which is what I currently have, the SF1000D so far has done really well. We'll see exactly how well it does with the flower stage, so stay tuned for that. But if you go to Spider Farmer, make sure you use coupon code SCAREGROW420. Links and all that will be down below. Be sure. Alright, I know I missed a couple of days. I'm running a day behind here. We are now... Day 12, week 2 of flower... For Betty the White Widow. As you can see, she's doing really, really good. It's getting a little too big from a tent though. Yeah. To finish this week's video up, we're going to give her another good feeding using the complete line of Fox Farm Trio. Using the Grow Big, Big Bloom, and Tiger Bloom. That's a little bit of cow mag. So, whoop, doop, doop, where's my Grow Big? Pick her up. Let's see. Right. So five milliliters of the grow big. Oh, lost the top. Where did the top go? There it is. Five grow big, five milliliters of big bloom. Nope, didn't mix this one. Hold on, shake her up. Milliliters of big bloom, or yeah, big bloom. Uh, 
Alright. At five milliliters of tiger bloom. Tiger Bloom and then one and a half <coughs> milliliters of cow mag. You can never see the one and a half mark. Right there. Alright. And I have no idea where my lid to the jug went to. What the heck? Where did it go? Oh no. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to Put my hand over top and shake her up. Alright. Yeah. I knew... I, I missed a day. I should have been recording this yesterday. And uploading today. But that's okay. I'll finish recording today. Edit the video tonight. And I'll have it uploaded tomorrow. We had a little family getaway, so it fell in between. And then yesterday was just running a little late, getting everything else done. Let's see, it's come along very nicely. I feel like I might be seeing a few little hairs starting to form where she's starting to enter pre-flower. That's how it, at least that's how it's looking. I say we probably have another week or so before we know for certain. But she does. She looks like she's starting to get her little white hairs for the pre-flower longer. This would be the real test with this light to see how uh, well this light does with a full grow. Because if you remember correctly, my first grow, I didn't have the spider farmer light for the first bit. So, let's see, I, I know I need a better light. This one's really good for veg. But I do want to slightly upgrade to one that'd be a little better in flower. But, who knows? This small tent, it might be perfect for flower. Thirsty girl. Betty is a, a thirsty girl. I will say I'm very happy with the fact I've only had one nutrient deficiency this entire grow. And it was right there at the beginning. I know. Everybody says you gotta do this. You gotta do, you gotta pH your water. You gotta check your PPMs. You don't, if you're a beginner, you don't have 
to do all that. I have a PPM meter. I have a pH meter. I, I haven't yet once pH'd any of my water. And I have had no issues whatsoever. So don't let people tell you, you have to do this. You have to do that. Because you don't have to do anything they say. You need to find what works for you. What grows the bud you want. Especially if it's you know personal use who cares what other people think as long as it's you know got the ter terpenes that you prefer gives the feeling and sensation that you want it to have and give you that's all that matters ignore the naysayers grow the way you want to grow Yes, doing the PPMs and all, depending on where you're located, it could be very important. But don't feel like as soon as you start growing, you have to keep up with that because you don't. You don't have to keep up with the pH of the water at, right at first. See how you can do on your own, and then, you know, if you do pretty good, then start changing how you do things. Start checking the pH to see if that makes it better. But don't work yourself to death trying to do everything the way everyone else tells you to. You got you got to master your own grow. You got to grow how you want to grow. Don't turn it into a chore or a job. This is something you want to do. Our turn here. Alrighty. There's our gallon of feed. There we get a little rotation. Alright, I'm going to turn this fan back on so I don't have to reach back here and do it later. And there we are. We are now on week two of flower. As you can tell, Betty is doing wonderful. Day 12, week 2 of flower. See if I can. And the GoPro doesn't really focus all too well. But looks like I'm starting to get close to entering pre flower. I don't know if you can, anyone else can like see these. Not that, but like poking up through there. There's a few little white pistols. Please remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me over on the socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Scarecrow420. All links will be down in the description below, so please come join the family, together we can grow.